A place that has everything from residences to offices to shopping malls to hotels. This is Arca South, the newest central business district south of the metro. This is the Food Terminal Inc., or popularly known as FTI in Taguig, that used to house over 300 industrial buildings, warehouses, and small-scale operations. People used to flock here for the weekend market, known for its wet market and wide array of fresh produce. In the middle of all the hustle and bustle, Ayala Land has taken on the challenge of turning this area into a 74-hectare central business district within the FTI complex. Ayala Land head architect Joel Luna and Arca South project development manager Stephen Comia explain the concept behind this up-and-coming business district. Architect Joel, thank you for having us. Let's talk about Arca South. So, am I correct? It is the old FTI area in Taguig. Well, Arca South is like a, it's a, it's a new township project. No? It's a new business district. No? So, Arca South is that next district. Uh, and it's like an infill development. So, making use of an old site, which was FTI, into this new commercial destination. Arca South is actually the latest business and lifestyle district of Ayala Land. It's about 74 hectares in size, located in the city of Taguig. And I guess this is uh, the opportunity for Ayala Land to create something or a major development from scratch. From master planning to actual development, similar to what we've done in Makati. Whether you're a commuter or a private car owner, no need to worry about going to Arca South. Accessibility remains its key advantage. The site is very accessible to main thoroughfares, namely uh, the South Ocean Expressway and the C5. We are actually about 7 kilometers away from Makati and about 5 kilometers away from the airport and Bonifacio Global City. The development is also located beside the much-anticipated Southeast Intermodal Transport System or ITS. The Southeast ITS will serve as a central station for all provincial buses carrying passengers to and from Laguna, Batangas, Quezon, and the Bicol region. Once completed in the next uh, two years, uh, we will be primarily connected to the Skyway via the Skyway uh, C5 C6 Connector Road project. And uh, once uh, we are connected with this, we'll be one exit away from Makati. And uh, I guess this infrastructure will actually open up new corridors for Arca South. Well, we'll be basically connected to the north or the NLEX via the NLEX SLEX Connector Road project. Now to the west, we'll be connected via the Cavite or the Coastal Road via the ongoing Naya Expressway. And uh, to the east, we'll be connected to Rizal area by the C6. I guess with these, all these infrastructure projects it will actually be very, very accessible. Arca South is home to Ayala Land's three residential brands, Ayala Land Premier, Alveo, and Avida. Once you get to Arca South, you will find that everything you need is there. We've actually started the uh, land development uh, as early as last year. And I guess in the next five years, we'll, all ha we'll have all the components needed in the CBD, from retail uh, to office to a hotel, even a hospital will be present in the next five years. Uh, for retail alone, we'll have about the scale of uh, Glorieta and Greenbelt combined in Arca South. And for uh, office buildings, we'll be have about nine buildings, uh, and five of which will be operational in the next five years. And uh, by 2018, uh, our own hospital, Qualimed, will also be operational. One of the most unique features of Arca South is its in-city campus. What we are actually trying to achieve in Arca South is something very, very different. It's a central business district in a low-rise setting. Uh, we will not really have a lot of skyscrapers. In Arca South, our typical buildings will be about 15 to 18 stories. Uh, it will create a different feel, but definitely all the major components needed for a central business district will be present in Arca South. 
For those who love to shop, Arca South will feature not only one but three distinct retail areas. One is a lifestyle mall with varying upscale fashion stores, especially retail and dining establishments, similar to that of Greenbelt. The second one is a transit-oriented mall linked to the Southeast ITS, which is perfect for commuters. This place will be just like Market Market. And then there's the 150,000 square meter regional mall which will offer diverse shopping, dining, and entertainment choices akin to Glorieta. After shopping, you can walk around the 60 meter wide green space that will serve as the main convergence point in the area. I'm from the south, so when right. I saw it, for someone like me na, I'm not into the concrete jungle mm -hmm. type um, yes. areas. Right. Parang it infuses that eh. the, yes. It's very green. We want to inject a lot of open space because, of course, as you go south, areas ng Alabang, these are really suburban. Eh. And in contrast, Makati Bonifacio, it's more dense. So we want, you're right, uh, Arca South should be more, more like a blend. It transitions or bridges these two types of developments. But perhaps one of the most essential components that Arca South has addressed is parking. How about parking? Mm. Always a problem. But right. here, what is your plan? Even our concept for parking is based on our intent to prioritize the pedestrians. So what we've tried to do is integrate all of the parking below ground. So even if you have different buildings, mm -hmm. the parking is all integrated under one basement. So once you're down at the basement, you can park as close as possible to where you need to go. So it's not like in, in uh, some of the older business districts to move from one place to another, you hop on your car, go, go into a parking area, and then if you, you need to go somewhere else, you go back to that parking area and then move your car somewhere right, else. Right. Here you park in, in the same place, essentially. With its vision, Arca South will provide the public the perfect fusion of a business and lifestyle district. Accessibility, convenience, and everything you need in one place. That is Arca South, a city in sick and your portal to progress. Well, that definitely brought back a lot of good memories. You know, I'll never forget my first evening in Paris, eating dinner alone on empty boxes in my empty apartment, and just the most exciting time of my life. Not scary? No, like, a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, for someone like me who's about to enter the next stage of my life, I'll take my cue from you. I guess I'm supposed to relish and enjoy every moment of single living and learn all the lessons I need to learn. Well, you know, to be honest, you will miss quite a few things mm -hmm. about living alone, but it's all worth it. Thank you for spending your precious time with us. And do join us again next week as we give you more tips on how to live a wonderful life in the metro. From living spaces to living life beyond its confines, this is your ultimate guide to modern living. Modern Living TV would like to thank New World Makati Hotel.